All right, so here he is, the former Strike Force welterweight champion, Nick Diaz. Stars don't burn much brighter than this, DC. Good to see Nick back on the proven ground tonight. It's great to see Nick back in the octagon, a guy that every time he makes the walk, you know you are going to get a great fight. He's going to start going at you the moment the referee says fight. He's going to be talking. He'll be trying to slap you. He'll be hitting you with the jab. And if you make the mistake of just taking him down, Nick Diaz has a great jiu-jitsu game, unbelievable submission ability, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt with black belt boxing. Yep. That's Nick Diaz. Lifetime in the sport made his UFC debut all the way back at UFC 44 against Jeremy Jackson in 2003. for my money might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division a true mixed martial artist at his core and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. everyone talked about him being well-rounded it's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level yeah he's comfortable wherever the fight goes maybe he'll grapple tonight maybe he'll strike makes him a hard guy to prepare for the tape for this welterweight fight. Diaz is 11 years the elder. He will have a one inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA, Nick D. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of nine wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hobbs at Bors Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight. All right, so here we go with round one, and on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter, yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, first words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me, I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and you laugh just like that, because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has bravado. I know he has a big ego. But it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Straight punch lands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Single collar tie. These guys throwing early. Nice one, two there. Caught the kick. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Nice. 
trying to hammer that lead leg. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Dig and kick. Big knee lands there. Oh! And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Big double leg level change. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Checks the light kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. <laughs> Look at how he turns his hip over oh. when he throws that kick. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Just misses there with the left. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. A right, little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. How about that chin? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one? That's gonna break him. Oh, is he an active pursuer of the submission? He's attack arm bar now. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that arm bar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop you. Gotta defend, but you can see him now start. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Nice punch by Diaz. Right hand on point. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there and- Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, oh, those are, oh, oh! Finish, finish. Don't stop. Keep going. 
Planted and fired there. Landed to the body. He went high on that one. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Got clip with the right hand. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Nice kick there by Diaz. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Diaz. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Oh, big left hook there. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Good right hand. Huge shots there. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Right hand punch from the clinch. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbow inside, because otherwise, he's gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. Stuffs the takedown there. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, now he's in trouble. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. You gotta be careful, armbar. Let's go, guys, work. Then he's out. He's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Gets up again here, but hurting. Takedown defense holds up. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Yeah. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Final seconds. Good body shot. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. And they separate. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, at first you don't succeed. Try, try again, was able to get him down there. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. 
but the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. And he continues to work the body here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Single collar tie now. Diaz gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. Went for the inside leg kick. Now connects with a right. Oh, collar tie. Shoot -o throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land. Ron and Paul here are if you're gonna go to a submission. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, side control now. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You got to be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Don't stop, don't stop. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Big body kick land. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Trying to stay in this fight! He loaded up there on that high kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Wow. Nice. Keep moving. Beautiful strike. Okay, let's focus. Let's focus now. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. His lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to... Oh, he might have got with a choke. Somehow. 
now stays in the fight. Hey, stop! Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. An elbow! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. He missed with that jab attempt there. Forward, forward. Just Get over three minutes to go. Lands with the right hand. You can't break your will. Big leg kick lands. Great punch. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, oh, big nice knee, knee there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice right Vicious hand. combo there. Just over two minutes to go. Nice leg kick there by Diaz. Muay Thai plump. Single collar tie here. In the tie clinch. Look for the knees to start. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's done. He's done. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Final minute. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just missed with the left there. Let's go. We need to score that takedown now. Third. 
30 seconds now to go in the round. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Big punch lands for the zone. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, single collar tie now. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You, you don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Big punch land. Ooh. Wow! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get oh, him. he might be out. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, huge block. Kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Big kick lands. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Slips to avoid the right. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. You got to check these low leg kicks. Great punch landed with so much power. And there comes the separation now. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Stay strong. Oh, that uppercut hook. Diaz's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Found the target with that left hand. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to a standing position. We'll see who has the advantage. Big kick land. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Oh, a huge block there. Back to the 
feet. Under a minute now to go in this one. And they separate. Oh. Nice punch lands over the top. He's hurt. Both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. 30 seconds now to go in the round. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Closed guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Now he's going to try to attack Kimura here. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. The winner by unanimous decision, Hobbs and Bors Kibana! All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous